It's obviously been an, just an enormous amount of work from, from the Amy Guild Foundation and a lot of other people and supporters and organisations. Uh, Amy used to train in Victoria. And as you know, our office, our, our office is in there. Um, how does it make you feel that Victoria is the only state that, that hasn't passed a meter matters in law? Um, well, I'd, I'd have to say extremely disappointed, Dan. And I, I don't think I'm the only one there. I think there's a lot of people out there, both cyclists and drivers, who are also immensely disappointed about that. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't see any sense in, in not having it. Um, yeah. yeah. So there's a, there's a new Minister for Road Safety in Victoria. Um, his name is, is Ben Carroll, and, and, and we've met with him recently, and he's, he's moving very quickly. Today, Minister Ben Carroll and, and Premier Dan, Daniel Andrews announced that Amita Matters is being passed in Victoria. Tell me that again. I'm, so, that they, they, ben Carroll and, Minister, uh, and Dan Andrews announced... Um, that Amita Matters is being, that is being passed in Victoria. Oh, 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 that's a, that's a big one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look, first and foremost, congratulations to all the people who've worked so hard for this. And I'm, I'm just so thrilled because, you know, for Cyprus in Victoria, I know, I know that this legislation, it saves lives. Yeah, I feel, yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah. Yeah, really happy, Dad. Yeah, it's been a long time coming for a lot of people who've worked so, so, so hard. And uh, yeah, I, it's gonna take a little while for that um, to sink in. Um, are you okay? How are you? Yeah, I, I feel, I, you know, of course, there's so much emotion there, Dan, to hear that news. But it, there's also relief. There's also relief that this is this is actually going to happen. Yeah. Great news, Dan. Great news. Dennis is... Are you, are you there, Dennis? Where are you? Great, great news. Come in here. That's right. Great news, Dan. <laughs> Keep going a bit more. Great news. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. It's, it's well done. Well done. I, um, Dan, I can remember, I, I can't rec recall the year, but um, I was in the city in Adelaide and I had a phone call from the then CEO of the foundation, who was Tracy Gordry. And she told me in that phone call that Queensland had adopted the legislation. And I. I couldn't, I was crying <laughs> wherever I was on the phone. I couldn't, couldn't believe it. So this is just um, the icing on the cake, Dan. Well, all I can say is I hope I can hear the cheering in my state of South Australia when that's announced for not only cyclists, but drivers as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's huge. And this is why I wanted to, to, to get you on because, um, your reaction is exactly how a lot of us feel that it's just it's overdue and it's wonderful and it's Amy's legacy and it's it's so much.